Hey, people limited here, 3-3, Argus Desert Gate Blue Team. Semper and Victor with a Tech Marine starts off in ranged combat, puts out some good damage, can also support the structures and repair. This is the Imperial Fist. I believe this name means like never defeated or something in the Latin alongside. Two Lord Generals. First up is Paluco, and here is Nurgling. These guys fight in ranged combat with the retinue of stormtroopers can add to the retinue, giving them more abilities, really strong defense and support in general. Red team, Laura is an apothecary, support hero that fights in melee by default, begins with a heal and a passive health regeneration aura. I like this color scheme. That's pretty cool. Alongside some Chaos Fellas, Raven is a Chaos Sorcerer. Offensive and destructive hero with powerful battlefield manipulation and control. The Word Bearers uh, DLC here. Which still looks awesome. Rounding off the teams is Katla with a Plague Champion starting off in ranged combat. The damage of time bolt gun can get melee weapons, some decent utility and support. We have the Death Guard Elite Scheme recolored black and white or grey or something. Kicking off in the mid. Where's those Doom Bolts? I want to see those Doom Bolts. There we go. And then a Doom Blast. There it is. Heretics did get quite low though, moving in there. Oh, we see the Medical Sergeant up already. For the Lord General of Peluco. Hands out the Medical Packs and there's the heal. Heretics are persuaded to leave. I think one of them got consumed as they ran too. CSM now engaging in melee and another Doom Bolts. Can be so deadly in those early fights. What's going on east side? Katla pushing through. Katla going triple heretics, which suggests multiple grenade launchers against Imperial Guard. We'll see. And double CSM for Raven. Sentinel up for both of the Imperial Guard players. Tactical Marines in melee with the Lord General and his retinue were falling like flies. Can they get a model of those Tactical Marines with all this lasgun fire? With an apothecary there to heal them though. It's going to be tough. The Lord General is maybe going to go down here. It's going to be really close. Two hit points got down to. And then they get away. 493 to 467 very early on. Apologies in advance if you hear any odd noises on the mic. It's a very, very hot day today. It's like 36 degrees or, degrees or something. So I have all of the windows open. Just couldn't sit in here. If the windows weren't open, I tried to just suffer through the heat most of the time. And, uh, you know, for the sake of noise, keep everything closed. But it wasn't going to happen today. And as usual, whenever it's warm, someone's either blaring music or got some kind of power tool going on. I think it's power tool today. Double shotgun scouts from Semper and Victor. All the heretics be running. CSM dropped a model there. Nice assist from Peluco. Here comes Raven. With aspiring champion heretics, and they're gonna doom blast these fellas, are they? This could be really painful. Boom! Yeah, if you hit all of the models and you have that aspiring champion, doom blasts are nasty for Guardsmen. If that doom bolts hit, that could have wiped them out. But it was slightly inaccurate with it. Good stop though from uh, Peluco. Another doom blast, and then the heretics flee with just the aspiring champion alive. Here comes Katla now. How many? Grenade launchers do we have? Just one at the moment. Has that awesome barrage. Scouts can be decent at dealing with it though. They have the mobility to dodge the grenades. Also, you know, get be aggressive, get close to the shotguns, which is what they're doing here. And the potential of that grenade is terrifying for heretics. It's just got right in their face with the shotguns for maximum damage. Might want to get around to negate the cover there, but they got them out of the way. And the east side will turn blue. West side is... I guess mostly red. We have an assault squad on the field for Loud. It is waiting for the rest of the fellas to come out of base. Guardsmen taking back that natural VP. And they have no power on that on that farm there. Oh, scouts dropped from Semper and Victor. Look, maybe they're going for a decap or something. Got caught by bolt, bolt of fire and grenade launchers. Oh boy, we have triple grenade launchers here from Katla. Plague Champion has nothing yet, but we might see the... Mucus Discharge to support all those grenade ticks. There's the Assault Squad jump. They are quite isolated here. 400 hit points of heavy armor though. Eating a stomp. Bunch of last gun fire. Lord General is just fighting them in melee. And here come the Tactical Marines. Getting pretty low though. Well under a half hit points. Apothecary is not going to get here in time to, to heal them I don't think. 
They're trying to bolt pistol that guy to death and they do it, but they drop two models. Was that worth it? Here come the tactical marines to try and tie things up in melee. Maybe they should have tried that sooner, but it was trying to kill the Lord General, I think. There's the Doom Bolts. Cover negated most of it. And a smoke grenade from the Catechins. And the way to deal with that is just to pull away. Make the smoke grenade have no bearing on the fight, but they get caught here. And the Lord General can get, yeah, here it is, Flat Jacket for incoming. Which is pretty good against grenade launchers because it stops you getting knocked over. And of course the damage resistance is nice. Catula's got a lot of them though. Doesn't want to overcommit on this move though. They get too close, the Catachins can pounce on them with a shotgun blast or a grenade launcher barrage or something. Speaking of barrages, there we go, but they're not knocked over because they're incoming. And they got a bit too close to the Catachins, just overcooked that move a little bit, I think. Catula got a little bit too close. And everything runs. The CSM is still here, they're not in melee though. I guess they need to be careful with that because Catachins have power melee weapons. Could be a real threat to Marines early on. Played Champion runs off. Real threat to heroes too. Are they going to take this guy down? I think he's going to fall. Yeah, Played Champion's down. Bothicary is where? Bothicary runs. Grenade attempted by Lauer. Couldn't quite get it flush on those Guardsmen. But Red Team have stolen this power. Semper and Victor here with Devastators, Advanced Targeting, and they replaced those scouts. Got shotguns and a sergeant of both of those guys now. Gonna bash on power, need to get closer to do maximum damage there. Lots of repairs for the Sentinel. Lots of Doom Bolts. That was a little one though. Oh, Kadachins with the Medical Sergeant heal getting stuck into some double CSM. They were pretty low. Going to get revived, but then go down, and I don't think the Plague Champ is going to get away here. Catachin's in retreat path. Smack, 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 smack. Going to go down. Yeah. Not a great ending to Tier 2 for the Red Team. Getting pushed off the east side, too. They still have that power, though. Grenade just missed. That would have been really bad news for those heretics. Only 75 hit points at level 1, with no aspiring champion, those guys. Aspiring Champion gives them 20% more hit points, which is what makes the Doom Blast more powerful since that scales off the health of the model that explodes. Noxious Cloud, you can set this up really nicely with the grenade launchers. There's the barrage. This could be really bad. You might need to retreat here, Semper and Victor. Look at that double barrage, and the Noxious Cloud is wrecking stuff. It's going to wipe all those scouts. Wow. And they did wipe both the scouts. The Tactical Marines got really low as well. Really good play from Katla. Oh, Semper and Victor. Thought they'd just run out of the Noxious Cloud, but double grenade launcher barrages was painful. Sanguine Chainsword here for the Apothecary seem healing on hit. Even on his bolt pistol hits, I believe. Yeah. Ten health on ranged hits, I think. Double CSM of Raven now going to the east side. And a shrine is being built by Katz. That's gonna be a Nurgle shrine, obviously to heal and reinforce allies also suppresses enemies if they get close they still have this power red team looking quite strong at actually at the end of tier 2 Semper and Victor getting some more tactical marines look at the requisition float for the blue team improvised explosive went off there assault squad jumping in now newer players or maybe players that don't play the game might be thinking or asking hey why doesn't Paluco and the other blue team players get some more infantry out they have tons of requisition couldn't they just get some more infantry out while they wait for the power for tier 2 well they could and that might be a good play but the reason they don't is because of economy if you look at the, the the resources tab here you can see these population counters if population gets over 30 you start to pay upkeep for every single model you have on the field amount of upkeep depends on the model terminators obviously have way more upkeep than guardsmen and that affects your requisition income, which we can see displayed here. All of these players on the same team have the same amount of resource points. They share them, but you can see different requisition incomes because they have a different amount of upkeep. So the lower the requisition income here, in theory, the stronger their army is. I mean, that might not always be the case in a straight up fight. Maybe a smaller, lower upkeep army, hard counters, a larger 
larger upkeep army, but you get the idea. Looks like Semper and Victor is going to ride this into tier 2. Maybe get a plasma cannon straight away and then try to hold for something bigger. Sentinel has a missile launcher for Nurgling. Brother Kerry smacking around the Lord General. Been going in on him quite a lot rather than tying up the Guardsmen, I notice. People typically tend to kind of ignore the Lord General because he's annoying to fight because all of his retinue die first, but I mean, if you're killing the retinue, you're kind of bleeding him. It's 25 wreck just to get one of these Stormtroopers back. That's not super cheap. Lots of plasma guns now. Bad news for those heavily armored assault squad marines. Yeah, each one has plasma guns. What about Paluco? Nothing yet. Meanwhile, east side, they've taken the power back. We actually have some flame attacks here. Heavy turret put down by Paluco. The Chaos Dreadnought of Cactus having a bad time with that heavy turret. Does massive damage to vehicles and it has vehicle armor. So small armors fire and flamers aren't that effective against it. Not effective at all, actually. We need anti-vehicle weapons. We also have a Chaos Dreadnought from Raven. We might see the Mark of Corn. Synergizes quite well with the Sorcerer's teleporting around shenanigans. Okay, Semper and Victor is going tier 2. Some repairs there for the Heavy Turret. The Plague Champion, Plague Fist on the way, already has Armor of Pestilence and some Black Grenades up. Looks like the Shrine is going to get torn down and Nurgle will cry. Heretic's capping the Natural VP though. Raven wants to cap up the mid rather than help in the east side right now. Look at this, Laura pushed all the way through with flame attacks, going to steal this power. But they're kind of bashing it and stealing it, I guess. 235 to 385, there's a Catechon smoke grenade again. Anti-armor stormtroopers with a melter bomb on the Dreadnought and now the melter guns doing insane amounts of damage. The Lord General also has the melter gun, so fight harder. Pretty damn good to help you push a vehicle. And down it goes. Need to retreat here, fellas. Aspiring champion on those CSM. They're trying to use Slaughter. Here we go, Slaughter again. You can switch them to melee weapons and get some health regen and stuff. Otherwise, I think they just shoot more often or something when Slaughter's active. Something like that. They're just better at fighting. 202 to 385. That's a decent opening to tier 2 for the blue team. Semper and Victor with some plasma devs, as I thought maybe would happen. Look again at this at these requisition incomes. Semper and Victor with the lowest income on the blue team suggests, at least when this plasma cannon hits the field, they have the strongest army in terms of upkeep. Tier 3 for Raven. Tactical Marines with Sergeant and Flamer now. That is Cutler's Dreadnought staying in the default mode for now with that auto cannon. Looks like they are going to tear down the turret eventually. Mark of Corn CSM for Cutler getting stuck in with those power melee chain axes. And here's the auto cannon will help. Down it goes. Do you not get red for that? You must get red. There's some Nurgle Worship. Double Nurgle Worship. You don't benefit from double Nurgle Worship, but it'll heal the heretics that are worshipping at least. Sentinel whiffs the stomp. Decent grenade. That guy super died. Needs to write a letter home now, buddy. Oh boy. Scouts got exploded. Brother Kerry will get away though. Retreated through the least scary unit on retreat, Guardsman. Here comes Raven. Might be biting off more they can chew here. Double CSM with Mark of Corn, but there's a stomp. Is there? No, I think it's still on cooldown, you know. And there's a circle of summoning from Raven. Helps them push. Well, what do I know? Really big and successful push. Big retreat from Semper and Victor. Did not want to mess with those Mark of Corn CSM at all. There's a shotgun blast, though, from the Catachins. Doom bolts largely negated by the incoming. Well played, Puluko. Pulled back to a more advantageous position and won the fight. Brought the plasma cannon into play there. Oh, the, set of the sorcerer went down too. It looks like he's got the rod of warp fire. East side, Catalyst pushed through. 
bashing some power. Maybe just go for the decap immediately. There we go. Take champion B cap in two. They want to steal this power again. Red team like to steal the power. It's a chaos thing. Barrage for some domino knockback, which is fun. Do they have aspiring champions? Oh, these guys are getting one. This makes them a bit tougher. But it, of, of course, it adds to your upkeep. To get that aspiring champion in there. There's a creeping barrage from one of the Lord Generals, most likely Paluco, since they're over here. And they take down Catler's Dreadnought. All of a sudden, Red Team looking very depleted here. We're going to have Termi soon, says Raven. Not putting Cat's what else they said there. Ogren's on the field for Nurgling. 140 to 342. Smacking it on some Assault Marines. Oh, Vanguard Veterans. First company Assault Marines with power melee weapons, Lightning Claw, two power swords and that big old Thunder Hammer. But uh, hey, Plasma Guns and Ogrins, pretty scary combo. Protocarry needs to be careful here. Ogrins have heavy melee damage, they can tear through anything if given time. Protocarry might go down. Those Ripper Guns are deceptively effective and down he goes. Shot that guy to death too. Pushing all the way through, might get a big old power bash in that. Power taken back over there. Wreck point, he still needs to be taken. VP being taken. Meanwhile, mid. Kicking off. Mark of Corner CSM tried to get in there. Got shotgun blasted. One of them still in play though. And here's Terminators now from Raven. Start off with those combi bolters and power fists. Can demoralize on kill. That's his red stuff you're seeing here. Having to teleport away though, because you know, plasma guns. And Catachin Power Melee can be a threat to Terminators. They've gone for the auto cannon. And Catler responds and recovers with a Mark of Nurgle Chaos Predator. Where is the Plague Champion himself? In there. Lost the indicator for him, but he's getting in there. There's a black grenade. Could be hard to spot in all this stuff a good hit really good hit 128 to 313 do they survive the infection they do barely some of those guys are kind of see the health bars anymore tech marine has a melter gun too and orbs of the omnissiah ogrin's pushing through the suppression hit oh because the suppression was turned off with vengeance rounds and they've got in ogrin's soaking up tons of damage there Here's an assist though from Catler's Chaos Predator. Gets rid of those guys, they can't do much to it with the plasma guns. Set to get a nerf in the next update I think. The Chaos Predator are going to get less health regen. An orbital from Laura. Maybe slightly wasted. Made the common mistake of putting all the beams in the same place. As inviting and tempting as it is, it's generally a bad idea. You want to knock, knock the units into other beams. That's how you maximize your damage and maximize your disruption too. One to wait to two seven four. Chaos Sorcerer level four now. Got the Demon Armor and that Rod of Warp Fire, which unsurprisingly can create some warp fire. This is bad. This is a bad time for these fellas. Double mark of corn CSM. Got too close to the plasma cannon, so it misfired, and they got ripped apart, almost taken out. Base turrets had to, had to save them there. Raven pushes through. There's that warp fire, wrecked those guys. Wow. Almost took out the stormtroopers. That's marked target, is it? From the Terminators, it is from the Signal Mama. 116 to 274. East side, what's going on? We've got Nurgle Predator stuff. Laura's come over here now with the Vanguard. They have that 2 to 1. Despite depleted armies, they are fighting really well here, the red team. There's another improvised explosive on the VP. And another heavy turret is up. Maybe some Havocs up here would help them help them seal the deal. Noise Marines maybe with their Blast Masters. They're a decent fighting force when stuff gets close with the double CSM and this Plague Champion. In 
fact they have tripled the mark of Corn CSN together. Get some stuff to keep them at bay and deal with these blobs here. Uh oh. Mark of Noble Predator goes down. Got caught by the anti armor stormtroopers. A bit too lackadaisical with the Predator there. It's tempting to, you know, just park it somewhere and shoot. Vanguard veterans go down. That was a dark flames, I guess. Lots of fire, lots of demoralization. I don't know if there's a maximum that it can stack up to demoralizing. It lowers the damage output and increases the damage you take. It's a pretty bad, a bad debuff to have, but it's it's a small debuff. It becomes dangerous when it when it stacks up. I think it's like one or two percent per stack. Black grenades have been thrown into the garrison, but the stone guard are stern enough to withstand it. Got some more stone guard here from Lauer. Got their Hellfire rounds. They want to be using Kraken bolts against the plasma cannon devs. But now they switch targets, I guess, to the guardsmen. Eh? But those Hellfire will do damage over time. It's a level four guardsman though. Now Catler's in there with the Plague Fist to use the Pestilence Strike on them too. I was not expecting that, I thought they'd just be tied up. Did the big old stun Rooney. Mark target on some CSM again, level 3, they've done well you know. And level 2, land Red Redeemer on the way for Laura, Catler's down to a single unit. Now needs to, um... oh was there a, was there a rocket run here? Looks like a rocket run went that way and that way and Raven lost the heretics from it. Looks like what happened. Here comes a Chaos Predator. We got this, says Raven. Day Champ is level 5. Probably goes level 5. He's got that combat stims. I only lost my heretics to that IG nuke. Yeah, looks like it was a nuke here. 67 to 249. 2 to 1 cap for the red team. Can they hold on to it though? Gotta start recovery. Heretics on the way for Katza to help repair. The Predator tank, the Land Red Redeemer will make a massive difference if they can get it to this east side. There's a Pestilent Strike again. Gives a big range damage reduction to anything within the cloud, but also stuns enemies. Not sure how long they can stay here. Oh, there's a Imperial Abyss from Katla, a green Nurgly one. That is painful. Did anything wipe? Yeah, Blueco had a rough time there. Blueco had a rough time. Got some subjugated Ogrins to smack on their own Lehman Russ. From the Tome of Subjugation, the Land Raider hits the field here. Is it going to push through the mid, maybe? Just to get this stuff to back off, maybe. It's a good way to use a Land Raider. Initially, when your enemy is not expecting it, not prepared for it, do a little push with the frag assault and stuff, and then, you know, after that, be careful. Kraken bolts, they should be using their vengeance rounds against Ogrin since they're super heavy infantry. There's that land raider, act as a mobile base for your team, they can retreat back to it, reinforce off it, and get some health off it too. With some powerful close range weaponry. Still using Kraken bolts while they shoot at guardsmen here. They should be switching ammo a bit more regularly to the right stuff, those stone guard. 64-207. Devastator's doing a really good job keeping these guys at bay, you know, but here comes a... Why did I say that? The Curse of Indrid Strikes. As soon as I say that, they get Mark targeted and a plasma cannon to the face and then die. Poor bastards. A venerable dreadnought dropped in from Semper Invicta. Unique to the Tech Marine. A high health melee dreadnought that can charge. The Dark Age of Technology is coming in, so it's gonna have 20 50 hit points at level 1. This thing is a beast. Chasing the Mark of Nurgle Predator. Got a rear armor hit, but this thing does have melee resistance. Can't do much damage to the dreadnought though. So the land raid is mid. Looks like it's used a frag assault from the look of the energy bar there. It's weird that you know, heretics don't have energy bars, but a land raider redeemer does. Neiman Russ 
with the Vanquisher Cannon on the way. I say that because, you know, Heretics obviously have some abilities and stuff to use. But it is cooldown based. And Reddit is going to the east side. That drop pod is still there and these guys can reinforce off it, I think. Or maybe not the venerable drop, drop pods. But it's down now anyway. Plasma kind of gets a good shot. Two of them, in fact. But those guys get melted. Yeah, Frag Assault finishes them off. Demon armor goes up to facilitate the push. Can they focus fire against those Terminators there? Oh, it's double Terminators. Are they both Ravens? They are. Big firefight here. Venerable Dreadnought tying those guys up. Good special. Got that ability knockback special that can send Terminators flying even. The Predator tank was dealt with. I see the remains of an anti-armor Stormtrooper Melter Bomb in there. Those orange fizzles. Good black grenade throw over there. Look at that. Captain now needs to close the distance and melee them though. There we go. Fake champions in there. Tech Marine is going to get revived. What are the VPs looking like? 58 to 174. The Dark Flames from Raven. Catler and Laura down to just two units. Oh. What happened to the Land Raider? I didn't even see the Land Raider go down, you guys. Can't control tanks, says Catler. Well, it's dead now. Where's the remains of the Land Raider? I can't even see it. I guess Lehman Rush just shot it to death. In the middle, maybe. Huh. I was probably just blind. As usual. One to one cap. Noise Marines on the way for Kato, trying to get some artillery up, I suppose. But well, a blue team should be able to see this through. There's another nuke from Katla. Not a great one, though. Mostly dodged clean. Hit some of the stern guard, I think, a bit. Pulled that guy in and killed him. I mean, it stopped them capping, I suppose. 58 to 174. The Venerable Dreadnought hits level 2. Getting some repairs now. Vengeance rounds are taking shots at it, though. Well, the crazy heals those Chaos Terminators. Some kind of heresy going on, I believe. Uh, that was weird. Weird animation for that special attack. I think it was at like, the end of the special attack. He ran into it. More noise marines on the way for Catla. This guy already has a Blast Master. Yeah, it's going to be tough, though, for the red team, I think. Well, I mean, Semper and Victor's quite low. Just a Venerable and some Stern Guard. Might be more even than I think. I'm just thinking the Lehman Russes are so good. Can they get close to these things? It's going to be triple Noise Marines for Katla. And all of them with Blast Masters, it seems like. Level 8 Plague Champion could do some real heavy lifting, especially when it comes to capping with that Pestilent Strike. Should be sending things through the mid here. Markov Corn CSM are quite quick on their feet. They should be going for this VP. Looks like they are. Looks like they are. And Raven can support them quite well with the demon armor and stuff. And subjugate anything that gets close. Looks like they're going east side though. The Terminators of Laura with a Cyclone Missile Launcher. What happened to that Land Raider? Was it right? Did it die right here? And I just didn't see it. Might have. There's a decap. They should get the decap at least. Gonna take a lot of damage though. A lot of damage. Wow, maybe not. Maybe not. They barely got the decap. Heinous amount of damage coming in there. And they don't even get away. Was it worth getting a decap? It's hard to say. It's bought them some time. Noise Marines doing some friendly fire on those stone guards. They would have to retreat now. We have a turret up from Katra. It's not firing though. There we go. Last cannon turret. Big chunks of damage. There's Stoicism. And the Venerable Dreadnought would fall after 10 seconds. Rocket run. Crazy ending here. One to one cap. There's another rocket run. The Salt Marines jump in those Noise Marines now. And they can take out the turret. Massive amounts of damage to that blob of guards on there. They're on fire. And taking Terminator shots, I think. They champion. 
Just got revived, I think. Level 10. Fella is level 10. There's that pestilence strike. Are they going to chuck the grenade on the pathogens? Or maybe it's already been used. 33 to 104. There's a triple cap for the blue team. It was some stormtroopers that got this cap, I guess. It's been decapped now, and scouts are on this from Lauer. Actions on the east side, though. Ogrin's chasing down Terminators. Terminators can't retreat. They must have already used their teleports. I wonder if it's worth turning and, turning and fighting here. You've got five power fists against them. Maybe. 33 to 75 on the VPs. Very, very close. Blue team have a single cap. Subjugated Ogrins there. Don't think they're going to catch the Lehman Rusto before it wears off. There we go. It's worn off. And these terminators are down to a single model. Oh, they retreated. Really? Should have kept the pressure on there, I think. Really should have kept the pressure on, I think. Might allow the red team to get back onto the east side a little bit easier. Blue team take their natural back. There's the two to one. Looks like those fellas are going to guard that VP now. Still very close. That's a repair bunker, which is a big deal. It might be time for red team to just fully push the mid. Now that that bunker's there and there's three Lumen Russes and the heavy turret. Demon armor helping these guys get this cat. Got the decat. Catra has a Predator tank. A Predator tank on the way for Raven. Those Terminators have done a lot of work, actually. Look at that. Triple Blast Masters coming in. And down go those Stone God veterans. Big Champion now goes for the cat with Pestilence Strike up. Level 10. Might want to get the Amicus Discharge just to help with these caps a little bit more. Terminators of Semper and Victor coming in. Are they going to finish the cap with Plague Champion? Maybe. I think they are. They get it. And then die. And then I think they're going to die. Oh man, but look, they're keeping these guys here for the Blast Masters to hit. The Plague Champion actually got away there. Here comes the Chaos Predator being very aggressive. Way too aggressive. Against triple Lehman Russes. Yeah, it didn't last long. That's triple Vanquisher Lehman Russes. You didn't want to charge into them with a tank. So the Blast Masters are going to fall here to Power Fists. Indeed they do. And this tank is now in trouble. Here's another tank from Lauer. Look at the damage those Demon Rusters do. That's only one of them as well. Oh, can they get it? They did. I thought it had backup. I guess not. And they took those Terminators out. Meanwhile, on the VP, down to four the blue team. Down to four. I thought they were going to run away with it at one point but the red team have really dug in just a double terminator for raven there's the cap no it's not a little bit of a mistake there from filuko but they get the cap vox operator on the way this one of his retinue fellas uh, i don't know why this wall is breaking just the sheer epicness of this fight noxious cloud Gets rid of those guys, and the Stern Guard can get onto the cap with their faster capping trait and grab it. Meanwhile, East, Ogrins are capping gear. Blastmasters are being very annoying though for the blue team. Well, that one died. There's only one left. Only one left. Another Chaos Predator for Katzler. I don't think the Predators are a great idea because of these Demon Russes, supported by the uh, Bunker. What is this capping now? It's the Plague Champion capping. Scouts up here for Lauer to support the Predator tank that they have, I suppose. Can they finish this cap, Catula? I think she can. Yep. They've got it. There's a 2 to 1, and that might be it. GG says Raven. Pestilent Strike gets the game for the red team. There it is. They hold on. Semper and Victor down to just Vanguard veterans at the end. And a level 7 Tech Marine. Level 10 Lord General. 
Level 9 Lord General as well. They did really well. Had the Melter Guns on both. Level 10 Apothecary. Sanguine Chainsword, Combat Stims, and Purification Rights. Didn't really notice Combat Stims being used, but I'm sure it was many, many times. Level 8 Sorcerer. And of course, the Level 10 Plague Champion. There you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.